What's going on everybody? This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, thank you all for tuning in. Today, we're gonna be smoking a full 18 pound Packer brisket on the Masterbuilt Gravity 560 digital charcoal grill slash smoker. Stay tuned. Before we dive deeper into this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you know when I'm making new videos. The Mr. Big Kid channel is all about firearms and barbecue. That's what I do and that's what I love. We're gonna try the hot and fast method and I typically do low and slow. In fact, I only do low and slow pretty much. I've smoked briskets upwards of 14 hours with the rest time, all that. I've had briskets that have taken me over 24 hours for the full process. They come out buttery, they're delicious, they're amazing. But today we don't have that kind of time. I want to do a brisket for dinner. Let's see if the hot and fast method really is hot and fast and let's see how the quality of the brisket is. It's a full 18 pound brisket. I did measure it and it does fit in the 560 gravity. I was a little concerned with the chamber size but it's, it's a perfect fit. We're gonna put it on the top rack of the smoker chamber. Then we're gonna put a water pan under that brisket. It's gonna kinda act as a bit of a heat shield. We're gonna put the fat cap of the brisket towards the bottom because that's where the heat source is. The fat cap won't melt and soak into the meat. That fat doesn't react that way. That fat, if anything, is gonna melt off and just take some of the seasoning and rub with it. So we're gonna put the fat cap down because it actually acts as a, a layer of protection from the hot grill grates. So kind of a cool little fact, ever since I started flipping my fat cap down towards the heat, they've been coming out perfect. Let's get the brisket trimmed up. Let's put a little basic Texas style rub on it with just salt and pepper, and then let's get it on the smoker. We're gonna crank the smoker up to about 350 today. That's super hot for a brisket. Normally it hang out around the 220 to 250 range. We're gonna crank it up another 100 degrees beyond that. Let's get started. Don't forget, subscribe. Hopefully you did that already. Here's a brisket, real simple. We're not gonna go too crazy. There's a little cut right here in the meat. That's kind of stupid. What we're gonna do is you see all this fat right here and right here. We're gonna cut this off. This is hard fat, it's not gonna render. And then on the other side of the brisket, on this side, we're gonna trim all this down to about a quarter inch. It's gonna add a good layer of protection to not be a big mushy fatty bite. So we're gonna do this in fast motion. Again, we're gonna try to trim most of this off we're gonna square it up a little bit and then trim the other side down to about a quarter inch. cool thing when you slice a brisket it's extremely important that you slice it against the grain you can see the muscle fibers on the grain are going this way if you cut it against the grain it'll be that much more tender it's critical for tenderness if you cut it this way it's gonna be stringy if you cut it this way it's gonna be awesome the hard thing is when you put your rub on it when you start getting a bark when you start smoking it and it gets black it's hard to see this grain sometimes so you can cut a notch out right here which is mostly just a corner of fat anyways but now we can see where we're gonna have to start cutting and we can cut our slices off of here the underside of this is the point this part is delicious very fatty we can actually separate the point from the flat right here through this fat 
piece right down here. When, when we're ready to separate it, we'll just slice it right down. And I'll show you guys how to do that. This bothers me right here, but uh, what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. All right, let's put a little rub on this thing now. It's not perfect, but it'll do. For today's cook, we're gonna be using some olive oil as a binder, sea salt, and black pepper. That's it. It doesn't get much easier than that. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the brisket on the top row. That's gonna enable us to actually have a pan under it. We can put water inside that pan. It'll actually act kind of as a thermal barrier for that direct heat because this smoker does run a lot drier than the uh, pellet grills do. That's what it seems like at least. So I'm just gonna put that right there. Actually, no, I'm gonna put this. Right there, right under where the brisket would be. There we go. The brisket is on, fat side down. This is the hotter part of the grill because this is where the uh, fire is happening inside the hopper on the side. So I'm putting the point there because the point can handle a little more heat than the thin flat wood. So we're a little tight, but it'll, it's actually perfect. Look at that. We're gonna let it go for like an hour, hour and a half. We're not gonna do anything to it. I'm not even gonna put a temp probe in it. Right now it's eight o'clock in the morning. Let's see how long this thing takes. See you guys in an hour. It's eight o'clock right now. I just threw the brisket in. We'll come back and check on it around nine o'clock. That's gonna give us an hour. At that point, we're gonna see if that rub sets in. Uh, we might start spritzing it down, and then we'll stick a temp probe in it so we can start monitoring the temperature. Easy process. So right now, the smoker is cranked up to 350. We are using mesquite chunks mixed in with our standard Kingsford charcoal briquettes. Let's see how good it comes out, and let's see how long it actually takes. Hot and fast, 350 right now. Big, did you guys subscribe yet? I don't know if you did or not, but you should probably do that. Here's a fun fact. If you want to increase your smoke, you can actually throw some wood chunks inside your ash pan. The hot embers will fall on top of that and smoke a little, right? Cool. All right, so it's been one hour. Let's see how it's looking. Mmm, it smells so good out here. That smoke just smells awesome. So the rub hasn't completely set in yet, but it's looking really good. It's kind of puffing up a little bit. I guess that's what happens with high heat on the brisket. We still got water in the pan, so we're gonna let it keep going for a while. It's still really juicy, so we don't really have to spray it down yet either. All right, it's 10 o'clock, two hours into it. We're at 157 and 122. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, so it looks like the rub is actually set in now. The brisket's kind of swollen up even more. It's kind of a football shaped balloon sort of thing. That looks really yummy. We're gonna let it go. Looks like we still got water in the pan. Yep, we're looking good. All right, it's been three and a half hours total. Our flat is 177 and our point is 145. I made a little concoction right here. So this is a little bit of Worcestershire sauce Montreal steak seasoning, more black pepper, and beef broth. That's it. Something to maintain that beef flavor. And look how awesome this thing is starting to look. Three and a half hours in, man, it's so juicy. Look at that, just bubbling. We got plenty of liquid in the pan still. That's awesome. We're gonna start adding a little to this. So 
so we are five hours in right now, and our flat is 190 and .155. Look at this. You got that water in the pan boiling below, but this looks great. That bark is building up really nicely. I mean, this flat's almost done. The point's got a bit to go. We're gonna reassess the temperature sensor and put it in a different spot, but let's give it another rub down. So we're going on almost six hours right now and we're at 189 and 172. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. It's looking amazing. Let's rub it down. All right, so our brisket flat is looking at 203 and 208. So the flat is definitely done. The point isn't quite there, but it's close. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it and then we're gonna separate the flat and point. But we'll, we'll tender check both of them with a toothpick. So what you wanna do is take a toothpick and poke it. If there is no resistance or little resistance, you know it's done. Just like this, there's really nothing. It just kind of pokes in like butter. So obviously you don't wanna go too crazy, you don't wanna overdo it. The point is like jelly. The point is just always incredibly tender. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this now. good looking brisket. So we're gonna separate the flat from the point. This right here is the flat. It's a piece of meat that goes all the way from this back corner and it kind of rides over the top and then you have your point. The point is extra fatty, lots of fat. Right separating the two in between, that's gonna be a big old piece of fat that we're gonna cut. So we're gonna kind of cut like this and down at an angle. Easy to find it, you can kind of see where the grooves are. So, just kind of find that fat. We're right in there. Perfect. Cut it down through the crust on the bottom. You guys ready to see something beautiful? So that's something connecting, and that's bottom bark. Get out of here, bottom bark. Oh man, look at this thing. That's your point right there. This is our favorite cut, absolutely. That's going in a pan. We're gonna completely cover that in foil. Same goes for this big old flat right here. So we're gonna let this thing rest for about probably almost two hours. It's gonna be a long rest time, but it's gonna make it that much better when we cut it. I will say I think I like the flavors a tad. I think I like the product of a brisket that is smoked at a lower temperature. Um, the bark was pretty good. The flavor was really good. 
but there was like the bottom of the brisket there was a certain kind of crunch that was almost like a caramelization now it's not necessarily bad it's just you're smoking at a lot higher of a temperature the grilled grate the grill grates and all that will be hotter at the same rate so cause and effect you know it's you got to something's got to give so it took about half the time of a normal brisket and 18 pounder is a pretty good sized brisket uh i would expect that on a normal occasion to probably take somewhere around 12 hours to smoke at a lower temperature so it was not too bad the flavor was there uh, for something fast it seemed like everybody that tried the brisket really liked it so i'm happy about that as well including me i did like it so i think it's a method i'll be using in the future especially if i need to make dinner uh and i don't plan it and i don't plan it out as well or whichever I liked it. The point wasn't quite done enough. I didn't actually show the video. It's It could have used a little more time. It didn't pull like a point should. But we've got something awesome planned for that point, which is, um, I'm not gonna say, you're just gonna have to watch, you're gonna have to watch the next video um, next week. Anyways, it was pretty good. I'm happy the way it all came out. Easy process. I think the total time was eight hours. I think the total time was eight hours. So I'm happy with that. Really fast. Plus the rest, 10 hours with the two hour rest. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. By now you probably should have subscribed to my channel. I've got a lot more videos like this and uh, firearm and shooting videos as well. So hopefully you guys subscribed. If you didn't, thank you for stopping by anyways. I appreciate you being here. So thank you all so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Subscribe.